Hey guys, what's up? I found the room I was looking for. This is, uh, the far left door on sub-level 1. Alright, now, this is gonna look really weird because we're still in the red lights, you know, from Tech's Alarm and everything. But anyway, go ahead and take the cog that you got before, and you can go ahead and use, like, this little mini-game right now. Uh, let me see here. Just need to be sure to not mess anything up. Uh, right, wait. Left, right, middle. Yeah, there we go. Remember those passwords we had to remember? Okay, so, um, this is a claw game. You see those two badges up there? You want those badges. Trust me, they are so helpful. Okay, so, first one you want to get, all right, now, the crane will move left just for as long as you hold down A, okay? And then the crane will move backwards as long as you hold down B. Alright, use the crane well to get the stuff you want. You can only, this only works three times, and so you want to get those three items. You want to get those two badges and the star piece. Okay, so. Oh, crap. I think I might have missed it up. No! Please tell me I did not mess something up. Okay, good. I thought it would have to be like, you know how, like, most claw games is total crap and you always miss it? I really thought I had missed it up right there, but thankfully I did not. Oh, that's close. Alright, that is a star piece. Not really necessary, but I just wanted to get it just to, you know, show that there's a star piece in here. Sorry about this getting this so late. I'm sure people were ta talking my ear off, or commenting my ear off, I should say. And boom, there we go. Now, stop it over these badges. These are very helpful badges because um, there are some bosses up ahead that work with status conditions, and these two badges are the Feeling Fine and the Feeling Fine Partner Badges. These badges are amazing. Makes you immune to pretty much every status condition that they um, inflict, which is usually poison. So, uh, it's really good that you can get these badges. Now, I'm not too terribly concerned with my party members getting afflicted by it, so this isn't really totally necessary. But I'm going to go ahead and get the partner one, too, just because, you know, it'd be nice to protect them, too. And that's why I kept on saying, it's like, oh, I really need to get more badge points, or, like, more BP from leveling up so I could equip these. These are kind of costly, and, like, you know, for badges. They're, like, I think they're four BP each, so I actually need a whole other level in order to get them. So let's go ahead and equip one. Feeling fine? Yeah! All right, one more level and I can equip the partner, and then I'm going to be equipping other stuff. So, anyway, we're going to go ahead and go down to sub-level 2 now, because that's where we really need to go, so we can get out of here. Okay, and these red lights are really... Ugh, they don't look good. Alright, so anyway, that is sub-level 1, the f door from the far left. So, that's where you need to go if you want to get those badges, and trust me, you want to get those badges. They're really good. Alright, I believe this is a teleporter room. Uh, no, this is a potion room. I always mix those two up. It's the one right next to it. Okay, now, uh, wait, is this it? I don't think this is. Ah, ah, this, my memory of this place is like totally shot. I don't know where the frick I'm going. Okay, now, it's not that one, not the elevator. I think it could be this one. Why can't it just be the one to far over? There we go, here we go. All right, go ahead and activate that and step into the portal. You could actually go into this portal earlier if you wanted to leave the fortress, but of course you don't want to do that. And so, by leaving the fortress, Tech is now dead. Bum bum ba. Peach. Goodbye. Whoa. Aw, oh, man, he blew it up. He used a self-destruct program. Come on. What was the point of that? It's like, we're totally dismantling the whole Exonaut regime. Ah, oh, well. I'm sure he'll be fine. Alright, anyway. Let's see here. Whoa, you hear something just then? Uh, the teleporter deactivating? Anyway, believe it or not, that teleporter is in a house in the Rogueport sewers. Well, if it isn't Mario. Hey, it's Dr. Insano. Over here, son. Awesome. Hey, what do you want? Alright, you brought the crystal star back from the moon with you. Back from the moon with you, didn't you? I don't know why I'm saying the moon like that. It's just the moon and night. Say the moon like that. Okay, I'm gonna shut up now. <laughs> what? Talking to my good ear. The moon and night fortress is on the moon? Ah, yes. So Princess Peach was there too, I assume? No. Sure was. But the X-Not boss took her off and uh, took her and took off at the Thousand Year Door. Ah! Just a bit ago, I smelled some bright hair and went to the Thousand Year Door. I saw a suspicious fellow in a cake go through that door with Princess Peach. Why didn't you stop them? What? 
You said the door wouldn't open without the sight of the crystal star. Believe me, I know, but I'm quite certain of it. I saw it with my own eyes. I have a very bad feeling about this. Very bad! Peach is in danger. Time is short. We must go to the Thousand Year Door and rescue the princess. I'll run ahead and meet you there. Don't dawdle. You must come immediately. Eh, yeah, screw you, frankly. We're gonna dawdle all we want. Yes, I would highly recommend that you dawdle, at least for a bit. Because once you go in the Thousand Year Door, um, I believe, I'm pretty sure you can leave the Thousand Year Door once you do go in. But I would rather not have to go in there and, like, backtrack all the way back out to get what I need, you know, if I need items. So anyway, I'm gonna go, go ahead and sell some stuff. I'm just gonna cut, because I'm just gonna be selling some stuff, and then, um, you know, just withdrawing a bunch of items, so I'll see you in a second. Okay, I went ahead and withdrawed all the items I'm gonna need. Believe me, all the items I'm gonna need. Trust me on that. I withdrawed a lot. Or withdraw or withdrew. Here, actually, I'm gonna save now. Now that we're here, I'm just gonna go ahead and save. Because we're pretty much here at, like, almost the end of the game. I mean, dang. You know, it seems like just a couple days ago, I was uploading the Schwong King as episode and freaking no one got the joke. Whatever. Anyway, uh, let's see here. Well, yeah, we're getting close to the end of the game here. We're going inside the freaking thousand year door. Anyway, uh, let's see here. Before I go in, hopefully no cutscene will activate. Yeah, I spoke too soon. Oh, okay, never mind. Uh, before I go in, I'm going to equip a badge. And that badge, hold on. You know what? I forgot to up I forgot to do that. You know what? Since Pennington thought we were Luigi, we're gonna be freaking Luigi when we're in there. We're gonna save the world. Luigi is gonna save the freaking world. So we're gonna be Luigi inside the freaking thousand year door. So yeah. Anyway, uh, actually, you know what? Actually, before I do anything else, before I go in there, since uh, we just beat the chapter boss, I'm gonna go see if Luigi is hanging around anywhere. Uh, do I want to? Nah, I don't care. Screw Luigi. Even though we're gonna beat him for this chapter. All right. Now, um, let's go ahead and talk to Professor Frankly. Alright, what kept you, Mario? Well, it doesn't matter now. Alright. Alright, you know, let's go and step on the pedestal. Alright, it's all come down to this. Hurry now, hold aloft that last crystal star. We will. Hold it aloft! We're going inside the frickin' thousand year door! And I can't stop saying frickin' like frickin'. Whatever. Ooh, I like that effect. It's shiny. Who doesn't like shiny stuff, really? Can anyone honestly say that they don't like shiny things? Truthfully, I love shiny things. They're cool. That's why all my teams have shiny Pokemon, whatever. I don't know why my voice cracked so horribly right there, but it did. Alright, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Is it just me, or does every Paper Mario game have something to do with seven? Alright, oh, look, the door! One, two, three, four, five, and six, seven. Awesome. Whoa, we be opening the door! The door's opening! Whoa. Yeah, that... Yeah, that totally doesn't look foreboding at all, does it? Ugh. Yikes. Alright. At long last, the entrance of the battle, Palace of Shadow has been opened. Before Princess Peach falls victim to the fiend, before he takes over the world, you must rescue the princess and stop this cataclysm! We will. Alright, let's rock, Gonzalez. We're gonna rock. First off, before I go in, I'm gonna show you my badges. My quit badges. Of course, you're probably not gonna have this many badges when you come here, but whatever. Anyway, feeling fine. Uh, feeling fine for, you know, Mario. And you know what, actually, I'm gonna do that later. Because, you know, I'm at the time limit. So anyway, we are going in the Thousand Year Door, people! Yes! The Thousand Year Door. Alright! We have entered the Thousand Year Door. And it is time to start... Chapter 8! Bum bum ba! And the Thousand Year Door! Very, very creative, I must say. Don't you think so? That was probably the most creative, very, like, like, thoughtful title they could have ever come up with. 
Anyway, off those in those areas up there, like above, like the palace and stuff, you can't go up there. Just so you know. Hey, whoa! This place is nasty. We don't have a choice. We've got to cruise through and save Peach for what this whole cataclysm happens. Come on, Gonzalez. We will. Even though I'm Luigi now. Anyway, I'm gonna see you guys in the next part. Ha ha! You got teased. Anyway, I will see you in the next part where we continue through the Palace of Shadows. So I will see you then.